Hey, I hope everyone's uh, doing great these holidays. And I wanted to do this for a long time. I have previous videos that I deleted, and I decided to update uh, the channel that I have on YouTube. I'm also going to be sharing this link once I upload this video to my YouTube. I'm going to be sharing it to my uh, Facebook um, groups that I belong to. So I wanted to do something that I haven't seen anyone do. There's a lot of great people out there that have done a lot, a lot of reviews about the Optimus Prime's G1s, all the different variants. And uh, I'm just going to do, I'm going to try to make it under 10 minutes as much as I can. And excuse me if I don't give you the exact info, but you have great uh, places where you can find the history of G1 Optimus Prime. Uh, one of those will be uh, Fred's work. I'll, uh, make, I'll make sure that I uh, add that link when I upload this video. And uh, also, if you be, if you look up at Facebook groups, there's a lot of great people out there that have a lot of knowledge. But I'm going to start with the granddaddy of them all, which is this guy right here. And it's very simple. Why do I call him a granddaddy? So I'm going to be getting my camera holster. And um, just moving this real quick. Granddaddy, simple. Let's cut the nivets on the middle on the bumper, right there where my dirty nails at. And it's got uh, the square uh, bases on the on the, on the smokestacks. And there's many more things that you can find on this boy. And the trader comes with the inserts, uh, as you can see, right there. Because it's got metal plates and everything inside is, all the parts are, um, you got the great missiles, the great roller, everything's complete. But I got so much to go and cover that. I'm just going to show you everything like this for every single uh, Optimus Prime that I have. This is going to say, Takar Japan 1982 and nothing inside the hitch. So this is a granddaddy and his dad, granddaddy's dad was the diatone line where everything was light blue and all that great stuff. Around the same time, Japan, under Takara, released the same kind of Optimus. There was different different releases out there back in the days, 80s, 82s. And um, this one also, as you can see. Okay, Takara Japan, nothing inside. But the differences on this boy here was that you had the mighty uh, injector, powerful, okay? You, you wouldn't find this anywhere in the USA. Only the Takara releases have that. And so I'm going to put that away since I have so much to cover. And just bear with me, please, as much as you can. And why did I decide to go so fast on that? Because if I can, let me go back to the uh, bloated one real quick. Great car, and the gray. Um, if you can see on my cell phone camera, it's got the gray um, shooter, the one that throws the little uh, roller. All right, it's, and it's not as powerful. I can say that without having to show you. So again. I'm going to go as fast as as quick as possible to make this video review <laughs> under 10 minutes. So those are the granddaddies right there. The Hasbro and the Takara. All right. So let's go back again. Granddaddies. And these granddaddies had their daddy, which was the, was the Diaclone. Then during that time, since Hasbro purchased a lot of this stuff from a well, wow. Diaclone, Takara, there was a lot of go, go back and forth, you know, putting this stuff together. And then there was this variants that came out. The smooth bumper, nothing, no nivets, nada. No, you can see those down there, the little nivets, they're like lights. Yeah, nothing. You had this is extremely rare one, doesn't have any stamps, number stamps on the inner ties, nada. Versus another one over here, also smooth bumper that has a one and a two inside the inner, inner thighs. These two fellas right here, 
I'm gonna put them right there. So cute. Come with the light blue parts, like diaclone, amazing. And you can see the little light blue car uh, roller in there already. And I'm just gonna make it real quick. And of course, the light blue parts. Amazing stuff, amazing. So let me close this back. Again, this is gonna be a quick review. And if you folks like what I'm doing here, I will show in detail what they all have. But again, I'm going through the line. So this all came on around that same time, 80s, 82s, 83s, 84s. So that's where we're at, right there, okay? So we're gonna go to the next section. Let's keep going. All right, this buddy right here. This is the Takara T. Takara T, because these are just the light blue ones have the Takara T inside the hitch, but they say Takara Japan, much different, okay? There was a lot going on back then, but this is the Takara T variant that everything is going to be stamped inside the trailer with a two. So it's got a T and now the wording changed. 1980, 1982, LTD, blah, blah, all that great stuff, but it's got a T. This one has the dark blue um, parts inside, the dark blue roller, and everything inside, inside is stamped too. There's another variant that came out around this time, but it now has Hasbro. This is also a T, but it's now with the Hasbro stamping. Hasbro, if you can see. Let me see if I can move the camera a little bit and the lighting because it's not that great. It's got the Hasbro now on the bottom. See, Hasbro, Hasbro owes. I owe you now. It's your mine. It's a two. So everything inside this trailer, it's twos. The inner thighs of these Optimus Primes are one and twos also this one here the takara stamped only which has a t this other over here has a one and two this one over here smooth bumper has nothing same as the uh the, uh, the bloated has no nothing inside same 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 as the um takara with the uh super <laughs> launcher for the roller so we went all the way to the twos we're gonna go now into the um, threes. We only have one. This one here. Inside the, the, the Optimus, you got three. You're gonna find three stamped in there. In the back of the head, Optimus Prime is gonna have a three. All the parts inside the trailer are gonna be three stamps. And you're looking at, real quick, a T2. I don't know if you can see it. No, a T4. I apologize. A T4. That's right. That's This is a 4. I do apologize. I got too excited. This is the one I'm supposed to show you. The T2. There you go. T2. The, everything in here is 3s. Everything in here is stamped 3s. And the Optimus Prime is has 3s in the inner thighs. Everything on this one, the T4, is going to have 4s. Even the fist, the uh, inside part's gonna have four stamped. Again, I'm trying to do this. I thought I was gonna do it under 10 minutes. Well, whatever it takes. I start it, now I finish. Then you had the release five, and you would think, oh, it's gonna be a five, a T5. Nope. This baby right here has a five inside, five R, five, five L on the inner thighs. And the trailer is going to have a five stamp. Everything inside the trailer is going to be five. See that? Five. Amazing, huh? Amazing. Alrighty. And again, I will make more videos per your request to make it more detail. Let's go to the next baby. Number six is going to have a 6L and a 6 right in inner thighs. You got to look inside. 
I don't have the best camera here, but 6L, 6R. And of course, the trailer, if this is going to be stamped, 6. See that? 6 right there? Hasbro. Yay. So everything inside is 6. This was everything that got released in 1980s all the way to 1985, 86. Then you get into the 1990s, 92s. You have the uh, the one with the lighter blue, Optimus, and the navy blue. See the differences? There's the two differences right there. These are the 1992s. They came with a stamp like that. All right. And the trailers, of course, everything inside is going to match. Navy blue and light blue. See that? Amazing. And these ones are all going to be stamped T2s inside the the uh the hitch t2s inside the parts everything's gonna say three so and i hope i make sense okay first ones granddaddies and then of course their, their daddies are the diaclones nothing stamped then you have the bloated right here also then you have the light blue variants smooth bumpers one stamp with numbers one and two and the other one doesn't then you have the T2s, the T's, the Hasbro one, and the one that's just the car. They're going to have a one and two inside the inner thighs, and everything inside is going to be twos. Then you have the three, which is a T2. Okay, on the trailer, everything's going to be stamped number three inside. The inner thighs three. Number four is going to have fours inside. Everything's going to be stamped fours but it's a t4 you have the five everything inside stamp five and it's going to have a 5r and a 5l on the inner thighs six 5l 5r does that make sense and everything is going to be stamped with a six then you have the 1992 this were released in 1992 and how do you know this Luis? very simple very simple right there i don't know if you can see it 1992. I'm almost done. I hope you like this video because I can get I can get more detail. I'm just trying to hurry, make it as not as boring as not too long. And then you have the 2000s. Okay, the 2000s. You start with this one here, which is just a a, a release that was done. It says 15th anniversary. Okay, this this came out in 2000. Takara, Japan. You got the 2007. Pepsi Optimus, you have the Takara and the Hasbro, there's two different releases. This one here, it's a Toys R Us release, right here. Small, small, um, small stacks, okay? And everything inside is gonna be gray, same as this one here. This is, it's, it's the difference on this one here, you see the windshield, it's blue. None of those have that. The other, only other time you're gonna see that blue windshield, and again, this is a reissue. They came out in 2002. This is from the Goodbye um, set that came out in 1985-86 for that after, after the G1 movie. And it's, again, this is great to have. It comes in the same box, this style. And just look for it. And it comes with a little extra Optimus Prime with a little mouse set. You, those run about $250 to $300. I have it all complete, but without the box. If you have boxes... For all of this, if you have any one of this Optimus Primes and you have the boxes, the styrofoam, please hold on to them. The ones that I tell people are the most precious ones are going to be the light blue variants. If you have the error box with the styrofoam in good condition, those are worth a lot of money. When I say a lot, I'm talking 1000 2000 depending on the condition of them. So again, if you really like this video, I thank you for checking it out. Put your comments. Please let me know if you want me to compare each one, open them up, explain the differences inside. I'm happy to do that. I'm here to do that. That's the whole purpose of this and to learn from you. All right. Again, thank you. I hope you like this video and I'm going to sign out. Thank you.